you guys. So this isn't another one of my hair videos. I'm actually going to be discussing vaginal discomfort. Now this is a pretty touchy subject, but it's also very important. So without putting your business out there, I'm just going to discuss this in a video. Yeast infections, itching, or whatever kind of discomfort you have related to itching, swelling, which can really, really irritate you, and burning as well. All of these fall into the same category that my remedies can treat or prevent. For STDs, talk to your doctor. Some medications are full of chemicals that get rid of the problem, but cause more problems afterwards. So let's save some money and do it ourselves. Let's get started. So we're just gonna start with what not to do. That's easy, right? Most of the time, it's actually the chemical products that we use, such as body washes and lotions that cause the itching and the burning. So stay away from those. Sometimes wiping too hard can be the simplest issue, or you're just wiping wrong, front to back, not back to front. No bread, put it down. Yeah. No sugar either. Put that down too. Come on, stay away from sugar and yeast. Sugar and yeast help the infection survive. So just take them out your diet. Your area needs ventilation too. So stay away from the silk. They don't have enough holes for you to breathe. Use the cotton underwear. And it's much more comfortable too. Wearing tight pants keeps your vaginal area tight and closed out. This is where vaginal infections strive, especially in dark environments. So wear looser pants. Next, we'll discuss the external applications that we can use. My number one application is olive oil and tea tree oil. Olive oil is loaded with vitamin E and fatty acids. This can help neutralize the skin and decrease irritation. Tea tree oil can dry out the infection, which reduces the irritation, but it is strong, so don't use too much. In a cylinder, I mix in a half a cup of olive oil and three drops of tea tree oil. All you have to do is take a thick enough paper towel or tissue and just squeeze out a line like you're putting mustard on a hot dog. If you want to apply this manually, just drip it on two fingers and do it in a circular motion or a dab. Afterwards, give your area some time to breathe freely. If you have some swelling from overuse of these methods, just stick a paper towel or a cloth under there with some ice cubes for about five minutes. Next are the internal applications. You should try to drink unsweetened cranberry juice. It helps treat vaginal irritation and itching. It has sort of an extended environment that it creates, which stops yeast and bacteria. Wait. First, check the yogurt to see if it doesn't have sugar in it. Yogurt does help with the bacterial environment, but make sure it really does not have sugar in it. That is very important. Drink lots of water too. You can flush out all that sugar that the yeast is feeding on. And of course, apple cider vinegar. It has antifungal properties and it helps restore the pH balance for you. But be careful, it's very strong. Fasting also gives you a natural detox, but I'll go into that in another video. And make sure you bathe with something soft. Try to add a drop of that tea tree oil now and then, and wash thoroughly so you don't leave soap in your area. And of course, if these issues worsen, talk to your doctor. I hope this video helped you ladies, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!